G'day, this is Peter, back with another episode of The Property Club, and today we're looking at luxury houses for sale in Angeles City, Pampanga. So we're having a look at luxury houses, and actually it's surprising how cheap some of these luxury houses have become. What I found previously to own a luxury home in Angeles City, literally you'd need at least 20 to 25 million peso, which is roughly around about 400 to 450,000 US dollars, okay, to purchase a, a luxury home in Angeles City in, in a nice gated estate. However, now, literally you can buy from around about 10 million pesos or just under 10 million pesos for a luxury house which is just under 200,000 US dollars so I was really surprised to find that you can actually find properties so most of the properties today will be priced between 10 and 20 million peso let's check it out let's get started and we're starting with this one it's a two-story home in Kakukut uh, Angeli City. It doesn't quite tell me the estate. Let me just check. It just says it's a private gated estate uh, with clubhouse. It's 420 square meters. Not sure if that's the... I think that's actually the land size. Uh, yes, it does say above. And 250 square meters is the floor area. Let's have a quick look at the pictures. And This is the home here. Nice looking home actually. It looks like some kind of castle. Look at that, some Spanish castle. And very big size lot. You know, for the Philippines, 400 square meters lot size. Um, that might be normal in the Western world, but in the Philippines, 400 square meters is, is a good, a very good size lot. Beautiful home. Priced from 9 million pesos. So just under 10. And who knows, you might be able to you know, offer as low as 7.58 million for a property like this, you know, just COVID-19. And I think I have seen this property listed, and I think it was listed like 12 or 13 million last year before COVID-19. So it has already dropped. Uh, it looks like it's a relist. They've relisted it from the 25th of June 2020. And that's the home there for 9.5 million asking price. Moving along is this beautiful three-story home in Timo Park. Timo Park is a great location, a wonderful subdivision, very close uh, by to um, you know all the entertainment district, Walking Street, uh, Koreatown, etc. Let's have a look. Beautiful home. Very nice. And that's the house. And so it's got a Harley out the front by the looks. Nice looking bike. I wonder if the bike comes with the house. And almost too good to be true. I think this house, you know, in Timo Park for a two story at this price, under 10 million, is a real bargain because it's a fantastic location and very close to town. I like the stairs there. Anyway, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Big terrace, nice deck, and a great view. I'd be spending a lot of time there, that's for sure. And big bedrooms, big living spaces. It's a great house, and it's only 9.9 .9 million peso. The next one is priced, it says 105, actually means 10.5 million. It's a 500 square meter corner allotment. It says preferred by a must be born again Christian. Okay, so it is an exclusive subdivision. It's a Christian community. So let's have a look at this one. Actually, it's a really good price, but you must be a born again Christian. And this is the house, beautiful home for 10 million peso. This is a real steal. Actually, a very nice luxury home, 500 square meters, modern home with a nice little um, park there, a nice little garden. And it is a corner allotment, 
uh, just like to know what is the subdivision you know it seems strange that you have to be a born-again Christian anyway nice property the next one now I'm pretty certain and we actually featured this in the last most recent video that this house is in Pulu Amsic. Pulu Amsic is a AAA number one subdivision in Angeles City. It is poppin', man, it is nice. Nice facilities, nice pool, um, gated, very safe indeed, and all the houses are really nice um, Balinese style, so an Asian Balinese style. So actually, the reason I featured this one again is because I saw this listing. It was listed at 15. It's been dropped to 13. And I found another listing that was 13 and I thought that was reasonable. So I featured that in the last video um, that I just featured which was uh, for closed homes in Angeles City. This was a rush sale. It was listed at 13. But then I found this. It's another listing and it's dro they've dropped the price again to 11.8 million. So if you could negotiate this down a little bit more, say, you know, 10.5, um, and you can see here the original price was 15 million. It's gone 15, 13, 11.8. So I don't think there's much in it. Maybe you could negotiate another maybe a million pesos. So say 10.5, 10.8 million. This is excellent buying. So let's have a look at the home. Beautiful property. If you could get this for low tens, absolutely laughing. I don't think there's going to be much negotiation because I have cut the price down from 15 million, but it's worth a try during COVID-19. And definitely that is priced well. They must need to sell. I am expecting that this property will sell fast, fast, fast. Okay, so the next house, another property in Pulu Amsic. It is a smaller lot size, 193 square meters. It is a good size internally, four bedroom, 230 square meters. I have seen this property up close and personal. It is a beautiful home, Balinese style home. Actually, the pictures do not give this credit. In the front yard now, they've put up some bamboo. It looks really nice and more uh, private there. The only thing I'd say is two things, okay? Um, the first thing is the garage. It's a little bit tight to squeeze into cars. Like I said, I physically went there. I was interested in this property. And the second thing, well, you can see, and they're trying to hide it in the pictures. But look, beautiful home. I love the home itself. But actually, the home faces the wall. So you can see the perimeter wall in, in the uh, pictures here. So you can just see where the glass is. There is a perimeter wall, and it faces directly at the wall. For that reason, you would only want to buy this if you got a really good price. And what's a good price? I'm talking like 9.5 million. You know, even with the wall, I think this is still good value if you could get it under 10 million. Anything under 10 or even up to 10 million, this is a great deal. And I remember even saying uh, to the agent at the time, hey, I would pay 10 for this for this house, um, but they just weren't willing at the time. Again, the pictures here, you can see the perimeter road, um, the perimeter wall right in front. So that, you know, does detract from the property, absolutely. But at the end of the day, it is Pulu Amsic. It's a beautiful home. Uh, I think, you know, 9.5, 9.75 million is well worth uh, the price. Good, good buying. The next house priced at 13 million peso. It says it's an exclusive subdivision near Clark Pampanga. It's near Clark. It's near Angeles. Actually, it's close, closer to Walking Street. This is Diamond Village. So it is Diamond Subdivision. I have seen this property as well. It is 13 million. It is an awesome size. It is a huge property. It's 450 square meters. And personally, I really liked this home. I did like Diamond. It's just that my partner at the time, she wasn't interested in Diamond. Uh, she wanted to buy in another location. Um, but anyway, having a look, this is the home. Nice big gate. And what I liked about this property is in the front, they had a huge, a massive front yard that you can see here. And they had a big driveway. So actually you could fit around three cars uh, behind the wall, behind the gate. So that was nice. That was appealing to me too. That was lots of space. And you could squeeze three cars in there. 
and it also had CCTV beautiful home a family home and I like the Filipino style of this property it's just a really nice traditional Filipino style home it even had like this big dogs quarters like a <laughs> a section for the dogs if you had some some big dogs um, you know had it own little you know, outdoor house um, you know all fenced off which was nice and a maids quarters at the back as well price at 13 million look I think it's a little bit steep in this current market they were asking the same money this time last year I think more reasonable is probably closer to 10 million um, this would be a good buy at 10 The next one is this beautiful brand new home in Punta Verde subdivision in Angeles City. So we're looking at these houses in Angeles City and this is top of my list. This is one of the best properties that I'm going to show you today and it's all because of the price and the size. If you look, I mean 450 square meters of land size. It's an absolute bargain. It's a six bedroom. Let's have a look at the house. It's a beautiful home and a nice yard in front and lots of room for cars and it's got a yard at the back too so lots of lots of room for the dog to play and the kids to play in the front or the back yard so big property high ceilings you know, big wide rooms lots of space brand new in Punta Verde so I think this is good value beautiful home check that out nice and clean so you might have a big family and this could interest you so look I'm not going to show you all the uh, pictures but there are many um, that's the home for 13.5 million yes still room for negotiation Okay, so the next one is also 13.5 million. This is in Carmenville subdivision, and what I love about this property again, and I've selected the best. So I just want you to, you know, keep in mind I haven't just picked any property. I picked the best, my favourite properties, priced between most are priced between 10 and 20 million for luxury homes. This is a corner allotment in Carmenville. It says it's 34 to 27. Avenue of 1976 Carmenville subdivision in Cut Cut. So um, it, it's a huge size, almost 500 square meters, 260 square meters. I, I don't really like big two story homes. I think one story, like a ranch style, like this would be perfect for me. It was built in 2001, and I just love how it's fenced there, and um, you know, the dogs could play, and you know, you could watch, and you know, great street appeal. I mean, even in the front yard here. They've got this little fence here to stop people walking on the grass. So obviously they have taken good care of this home. Beautiful. Classical Filipino style home. I mean just some things though you might change some paint or want to change the tiles. Um, but besides that I think it's a really nice home and Carmenville is well sought after as well it's a nice safe estate Carmenville is high on my list and that's it moving along so this one is priced at 14 million it's a lot area of 600 square meters and a floor area of 300 square meters it says it's near Tabung Exit. Okay, so I'm not quite sure exactly uh, where it is. I, it looks like it's it's more San Fernando, maybe just outside of Angeles City. Nonetheless, it is a big and beautiful home. High walls for security. And that's it for 14 mil. Okay, so the next one, this is high on my list. It's probably in the top five properties that I'll show you today. I think the price is really, really good. It's priced at 14.3 million. And this house, yes, indeed, 
it's in marquee place okay so this is marquee place it's a, a yala land premier development a yala land premier for 14.3 million what a bloody bargain honestly previously before covid every house pretty much every house was at least 18 to 20 million peso um you know that was the entry level homes in marquee place this is priced at 14 maybe you could squeeze them down to 12 or something like this it is very good value lot area 240 square meters very nice looking home inside and it's got a pool look at that well it says a mini pool to be fair for 14 mil okay so we've got another property in Timog this is a big house in Timog land size 300 square meter for this five bedroom for 14.5 million nice older style home for 14.5 and that's it for 14.5 it's a five bedroom 400 square meter floor area it is a massive home uh, price at 14.5 I'm sure uh, there's lots of room for negotiation on this one okay so the next one again Pulu Amsic I love Pulu Amsic I would personally buy there if, if you know I was rich I'm not so I probably won't be buying there unless I get a really really good deal in the future um, but likely not um, <laughs> considering my current situation and status anyway so this is priced at 15.5 million which is pretty reasonable it's a large size home it is 380 square meters internally that's the floor area it's a land size of 299 square meters it says it's zen style it's a modern home and lots of room for, for cars it looks like it's got maybe room for three or four cars there and I'm not sure if it's on the corner a lot or not perhaps not let's have another look at the picture nice deck and most of the houses in Pulu Amsic are kind of like this Balinese style oh just be careful I did spot what looks like the perimeter wall so this could be near the wall so if it's near the wall you want to negotiate hard but I don't think it looks at the at the wall you can see that there so um, yeah I, I wouldn't worry too much but yeah lots of room for cars you might even be able to squeeze um, you know four cars in possibly so yeah not bad at all nice little home well it's not little it's actually quite sizable 15.5 and we're moving up so the next one is a pool villa and it says it's selling low and some of the properties here in enclave and this is located in the enclave subdivision were going very very high some of the prices were closer to 20 million this is priced at 16 million it's a corner allotment of 408 square meters and floor area of 380 square meters let's have a look at the pictures beautiful home indoor pool look at that and I wonder if that roof uh, retracts and you know you'd have the the Sun shining down if you wanted it, it kinda looks like it moves so you'd have to have a look at that but yeah great indoor pool or covered pool that's the location and that's where enclave is nice bathroom and it's a corner allotment for 16 mil that was listed six days ago so this has been on the market for ages it's probably been on the market for over a year now um, actually I did see a listing previously prior to COVID listing this property at 16 or 15 it was like they slashed the price down I was actually interested in this property if I could get it for a good price but unfortunately it looks like they have increased the price not decreased the price so good luck selling it but anyway um, it's a beautiful home I like that it's just one level and it's a huge allotment 450 square meters which is absolutely mammoth for this estate this is Pulu Amsic and Pulu Amsic's again probably you know in my top three estates in Angeles City so you're looking at Pulu Amsic Marquee Place 
And then, uh, I don't know, it would be a battle between maybe Henson, Ville Plaza, and one other estate. Okay, but yeah, definitely I'd say Pulu, Amsic, and Marquee Place are my favourites. Uh, this is still, look, I think too expensive at 17 mil. I think closer to like 13 million is round about what you'd want to pay for something like this, but it's a beautiful home. It's a large house. It is 400 square meter floor area on one level. And then you have this big garden at the back. Moving along, another property of Pulu M6. This is priced at 17.9. Um, personally, I feel this house, uh, this yellow house that I showed you, was a better property. I just like this style and the quality of build. Um, on this one better than this one, but if you want a substantial home um, You know, this is still a good buy It is on a corner allotment, which is a, a great thing um, You know it has great street appeal. It was looking a bit run down But it looks like they've repainted it or something and brought it up to spec when I did see this property It was looking a bit run down and shabby, uh, but it looks like they've cleaned it up since then they must be eager, eager to sell. They said selling price 17.9. I still think it's far too high and you'd want to buy it. Probably this one around about 12.5. The floor areas, although it looks really big, it's only 200 square meters. It is near the wall and the lot area is 385 square meters. Hence why I said this property is actually superior. Okay, moving along. So here is a, another example of a house in Marquee Place. It says target completion date is July 30th. It is kind of like a villa, so they've got like one large lot. I actually saw this getting constructed. Uh, I do spend a lot of time in Angeles and Clark, and I saw it getting constructed. This is like two sides from memory. Um, so they've got like one, maybe 400 or 500 square meter lot, cut it in two, and built like two kind of luxury villas. And this is one of it, one of them priced for 18.5. So you can see in the picture here actually, uh, the front, it is actually two villas. Um, you're only buying one villa for that price. How I feel about it is this you're better off buying your own block of land and building yourself because you will get a better price. However, if you're kind of the person that's just like you want something that's finished and done this could be an option for you and maybe you're just nervous about building so um, you know some people are as you can see the lot area is only 220 square meters the floor area is 300 square meters moving along so this says it's in Sunset Estate which is a really nice estate uh, in Angeles City again one of the top estates in Angeles City uh, it's priced at 19 million and it's 490 square meter lot area big home actually quite reasonable for the price and the size but we're starting to get to that 20 mil mark and above um, some of the houses are 20 and above but keep in mind COVID-19 anything that's priced over 20 anything actually that you see listed here today you can negotiate and negotiate hard And that's it. So that's the property, and it's a big seven bedroom. Sorry, the land size is 500 square meters, and the floor area is very sizable, 490 square meters, which is quite reasonable considering the size at 19 mil. So the next one is in Lakeshore, and remember in the video previously, I showed you a foreclosure in Lakeshore for four million. So this is a really good comparison. Yes, this is a larger property, it's a newer home, but this is priced at 20 million peso. So there's a big difference, four million to 20 million peso um, versus the foreclosure that I, I showed you. I think it's, it's very expensive. I think it's a, a, a gorgeous home, don't get me wrong, but I don't think they're going to get anywhere near what they want for it, which is 20 million peso. Okay, and that's the home. It says P20, they mean 
20 million peso okay so good example good comparison especially in the last video in the foreclosure video I'm actually showing you you know a property in this village and I believe it was 212 square meters this isn't much bigger this is um, you know 270 square meters so the lot area is slightly bigger the floor area is much bigger I think the floor area of the 4 million peso one was only a hundred or 110 square meters this is a huge substantial home 350 square meters but I think you'd be lucky to get anywhere near that price good luck okay so this is awesome this I was like wow this is full-on and this is a great comparison to this one I mean this is a lot area of 270 square meters this is a lot area of 893 so we're talking like almost quadruple the size and we're talking a very very substantial home that I think is priced um, reasonably for the home this is an awesome huge home in the same development it is in Lakeshore seven bedroom and check out this home look at it it doesn't look like a house it looks like a resort it was 25 million they've discounted it down 20 percent already okay and wow floor area of 800 square meters so this is a big home I mean look let's just calculate this really quickly you know, 20 million peso, okay, 20 million peso divided by 800 square meters, that's 25,000 peso um, per square meter, including the land. And remember, Lakeshore land is not cheap, it's quite expensive, and this is a huge allotment. It's 893 square meters. So it's the size of four allotments. They might ha have had to buy one either very big allotment or three or four allotments next to each other and built one big house one big mansion over three or four allotments most likely that's what's occurred here so keep in mind you know the average price now in Lakeshore is 10,000 peso per square meter you know <laughs> 890 uh, square meters so that means replacement value of the land is 8.9 million peso alone so ultimately really what you're getting is this building right you're paying for the building 20 million for the building and you're getting the land for free so great example if I had the money this is what I'd be buying absolutely all day of the week considering the price absolute bargain this is a, a mansion this is a huge home uh, if you've got a beautiful missus and you've got lots of money to spend and she wants you know to have five or six kids this is the home for you and yeah I'm sure there's a few of you here in the Philippines okay so the next one is 20 million I believe this is Pulu Amsic again and it says it just says impressive mansion near Clark yes it does say Pulu Amsic I just know it is from the pictures it's a big home seven uh, sorry five bedroom seven bathroom it's a lot area of 500 square meters price at 20 million pesos so really starting to get up there in the price I mean that for 20 million in, in Pulu Amsic versus that oh mate Lakeshore yes it's not as great as a location as Pulu Amsic um, but you know no comparison this looks like a small resort style home for the same money exact same price okay so the next one price at 21 million they have their heads in the clouds the floor is 300 square meters it's a small allotment of 266 square meters yes it seems like maybe there were some people buying lots in Pulu Amsic and developing beautiful homes like this one don't get me wrong it is a beautiful home but for the money 21 million it was priced at 21 million six months ago it was priced at 21 million 12 months ago um, this is just sat on the market vacant for a long time and if they don't discount the price here it's going to continue to sit vacant so a really good example of a beautiful home um, great example of a, a great great build I think it's a, a beautiful brand new modern home um, but I think look the price is is just way too high I mean compare this to um, you know the 800 square meter mansion that I just showed you which was new and I think yeah this versus that end of the day yeah 
I mean, 21 million for 300 square meters, or you know, 20 million, so it's priced less for 800 square meters. is a very, very good price. So the next one, another house in Pulu Amsic, and this is a lot area of 282 square meters, beautiful two-story home. Again, probably a bit too high, 22 million. Yes, it is beautiful. Yes, it is modern. Um, doesn't paint the right picture when you know you see the pool and it's not even filled. Um, you know, floor is 341 square meters. Um, yeah, look, okay, I understand it is Pulu Amsic. But at the end of the day, uh, I think there's better deals out there. Okay, so the next one is a modern house and lot in Timok Park. And again, it looks like someone's built a new house and maybe they got stuck during COVID-19. 23 million for this, that's the asking price for this property, 23 mil. Lot area of 300 square meters. It is a bit bigger, 400 square meters. At the end of the day, to be fair to these uh, property owners, these vendors. You know, it's all about location, location, location. It is a beautiful home, very modern. Um, and you know, someone might just walk into this home and say, "I love it. I love the location," and just pay the price. Um, but ultimately, um, I, I wouldn't. <laughs> just, just being honest. Okay, so another one near Marky Place. Uh, well, I'm not sure if it's Marky Place or it's. Um, Metro Homes, I'm um, not sure which village because it doesn't actually stipulate that, um, but anyway it's 25 million interesting looking home and it's a good size home, uh, 450 square meters, kind of like a ranch style, like ranch style is the correct word, it's like a cabin style, they've used a lot of wood which is nice, very unique style. beautiful home for 25 mil maybe just love this style and think hey look I want it I want to buy it you know, 25 mil and we're talking 500,000 US dollars so I don't know it is a beautiful home is a beautiful home but I think it's a lot of money um, you know during COVID-19 you you want to negotiate heavily you know if you did like this home personally how I feel about it you'd be asking for a 25 maybe 30 percent discount from asking price okay so the next one and it's in Essel Park okay it is huge it is a lot area of 675 square meters it's 26 million peso it says it's a beautiful American themed house and it's perfect for expats or retirees I think that's funny they're obviously targeting expats here so it, it's in Telebuster gun I think you know based on the location and the price it's a bit expensive but Essel Park is known to have some higher end more expensive homes so you know for the area it is reasonable so let's have a look beautiful home it's a mega home and actually what's interesting is probably this is the only house you've seen that's a luxury house that has a proper garage so it has a roller door most of the houses here you'll notice they're just carports it's very strange to me that most houses aren't built with a proper garage this has one which is kind of rare here in the Philippines most houses they just kind of get slack and say okay well we're building a carport maybe they're just cutting corners or saving money I don't know um, but yeah nice to see that they do have a proper garage and that's what I miss I miss having a garage my cars are on the street check this out in Cut Cut Angeles I think this is what's its name Sunshine Estate I forget the name just having a mental blank might have it here uh, no it doesn't I forget the name of the estate but I have seen this house before looks like a mini white house or something priced for 30 million peso so beautiful home substantial property this beautiful estate for 30 million peso
What do you think? Comment below. So yeah, I'm always interested in hearing from my subscribers. If you could please comment on the vlog, I will be sure to comment back or leave a like on your comment, um, especially if it's something um, interesting, I I'm sure to comment back. So it is a really nice home, a huge home. It, it really is like a mini Mick Mansion, I think is, is the best way to describe this home. So I'm spending a, a bit more time just on the photos. Really cool. Look at the backyard there. I'm just going to go back. It has its own bar in the back, a nice big pool. Gorgeous, gorgeous property. What a gem. The White House in the Philippines. <laughs> 600 square meters. I'm sure there's lots of room for negotiation. Okay, so another very huge home. It's a humongous property. It's a floor area of 550 square meters, land area of 800 in Malabanias. This is the best location. Malabanias is it. That's where you want to be because Malabanias, long term, this area is ripe for redevelopment. Now, you know, there's houses in this area. People have bought up houses and built. Um, you know, high-rise condominiums like Candy, uh, Candy Towers, uh, that sort of thing. So I think I've always thought, well, Malabanias, if you could even get an old, you know, shabby-looking home with the land, the land content is only going to go up and up because that's the centre of Angeles City. It really is the city, hence why the price is so high. Just wanted to explain that to you. So actually, the price is quite reasonable considering the location and possible redevelopment potential. And it's a grand estate. I'm just going to flick through this quickly. Beautiful home. Beautiful home. So there's 40 pictures. I'm not going to click through all of them. I'm just going to show you a few. But it is a wonderful property. But you do need a lot of money to be able to afford this one. So the next is Sunset Estate. So that other property, I'm pretty sure, is also in Sunset Estate. Um, that reminded me, thank you. And this is 45 million. So we're really getting up there now. And this is the house. Beautiful home. Another Mick Mansion for 45 million peso. And the last property, drum roll. But before I do, I just want to say this. You see these Mink Mansions and they're like 600, 700, 800 square meters. And I just want to flick all the way back before I do. And I just want to go here. Where is it? Oh. This one. Here. Sorry for that. That's 800 square meters. That is a mansion. It is huge. For 20 million is extremely reasonable. If you can negotiate even further and get a deal on that, honestly, that is the pick of the night. That's the one, okay, in Lakeshore. But anyway, drum roll. So the last property is this one. It's priced at 49 million. It says selling price 50, so pretty much 50 million peso. Looks like a little palace in San Fernando, just outside Angeles City. And it is a humongous property. It is a lot area of 960 square meters with a floor area of 1,500 square meters. So it's a gigantic property, absolutely mega. If you had a big family and, and you just didn't care how much you spent, this might be the property for you. It doesn't actually say where it's located exactly. I'm assuming it is Lakeshore just outside of Angeles City. Uh, but it is a mega property. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Peter from The Property Club. Please do support the channel. Uh, please do like, share, and or subscribe. Thank you very much for watching, and double thumbs up. Bye for now. Bye-bye.